Around 70% of shopping carts are abandoned in your online store. If you're running an online store on WordPress, you know how frustrating it can be to have potential leads slip through the cracks of abandoned carts. By sending abandoned cart emails to these potential buyers, you can improve your customer experience and boost conversions. And in today's video, we are going to show you exactly how you can set up abandoned cart emails so that you can recover those lost sales and boost your revenue. So stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss all the information we have for you today. Also at the end of the video we're going to show you our favorite web hosting platform if you're in the market for a new web hosting service or you want to switch from your old web hosting plan because maybe they're too expensive then you're definitely going to want to pay attention at the end of the video all right first let's discuss the importance of sending abandoned cart emails to your customers when users first visit your store they may add items to their shopping cart but will end up abandoning the cart due to things like high shipping prices a slow checkout process or the need to create an account and sending abandoned cart emails is a great way to remove remind your customers about their abandoned items and encouraging them to complete their purchase. This approach can improve brand perception, strengthen customer relationships, and even increase conversion rates by up to 30% or more. Now let's explore how to set up these abandoned cart emails step by step. So the way that we're going to do this today is on our WooCommerce platform within WordPress, but by using a plugin called Funnel Kit Automations. It's truly one of the best automation tools for WooCommerce stores, and it comes with a drag and drop feature and pre-built sequences so you can have it up in minutes. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to download and activate this plugin in WordPress. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's go into WordPress here and we'll go into the bottom left hand corner to plugins. And once we go to plugins here, we can go to add new plugin in the top left hand corner. Now you want to type in funnel kit automations to make sure that you get the correct plugin. So this is the one we want here recover WooCommerce cart abandonment newsletter email marketing market automation campaigns by funnel kit. So let's go ahead and install this and then we're going to activate it here as well too. Now once we've done that, it'll bring us to the dashboard here. Now note for the sake of this video, we're going to be doing a free option here. We're just going to use the automation light. But if you do want to upgrade to the pro, that's going to give you more functionality. And you'll notice that if you want to send SMS messages, then you'll need the pro version. So the first thing that we need to do is to go into the settings of funnel kit automation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, once we're in setting, let's go to cart here. And you just want to make sure that you enable cart tracking, it should automatically be turned on. But if it's not, go ahead and click this button. Now we're going to add our new automation. So let's go back to the dashboard here. And then we can go to automations in the top bar here. And then we're going to need to look for the abandoned cart reminder. So let's go ahead and click create automation here. And then we're going to type in at the top abandoned cart. And you'll see there's one free one included with the light plan. The other two are going to be per product and reminder pro. So go ahead and just click this abandoned cart reminder, the first one here. Now that we've done that, we need to import this to save it. So let's go ahead and click import recipe here. And we're just going to call it abandoned cart. Go ahead and click create. And now it's going to import it so that we can use it. So let's go ahead and just look at this decision tree here to see what it's talking about. So here's our cart that's abandoned. Currently, we have a 30 minute delay. And then there's an action here that's going to send an email. After that, there's a 12 hour delay. And then there's another email here. If we keep scrolling down, then there's a 24 hour delay and another email. And then the automation is over. So basically, this is going to include three separate emails how it's set up currently. So let's go ahead and go back to the top here. And let's go ahead and click on the delay option here again to see what our options are. So this is a really neat feature of funnel kit automations here. Let's say instead of 30 minutes, we want to change this to two days. It's very simple to do that. Now, if you want to do a specific time of day, a specific day of the week, then you'll have to pay for the pro version. But when you're just getting started, this option with the light version is plenty fine. Okay, so once you've done that, we can go ahead and save that. And we're going to send an email in two days here. Let's go ahead and look at what our email says. So let's go ahead and click on the action here underneath that. And you'll see that it's going to send to the contact email, your cart is saved, that's the subject line. And then you're just one step away from placing your order. So this is the preview text, you can change it to whatever you like. And then they automatically have populated here a template for what to say to them. Now you can adjust this and make it whatever you want. But just note that the cart billing name is going to appear here in the text. So if you're going to rearrange these, that's fine. But just make sure you include them because it's going to give a really nice touch to your customer by saying their name. So after that, we can click Save. And then you can go ahead and change the second and third delays here as well. So for this one, I put two days. So we probably want to change the period a little further out here. So let's go ahead and say four days for this one. And then on the last one, we can go ahead and put that one week after. This probably makes the most sense for what I'm doing but for you, it might be different. So be sure to delay those to the amount that you think is appropriate for your business. As you can tell, this is a very easy and intuitive way to send these abandoned cart emails. If you go over to contacts on the left hand side here, you'll see contacts imported. Obviously, we don't have any currently here, but you will have some as well. And then you can pick who receives these emails as well. Then we also have analytics for the pro version. This is just going to show you active contacts, completed contacts, orders, revenue, AOV and unsubscribers. Also, you can track engagements here. We don't have any currently, but you can do 
do that here. And then there is order tracking here as well. Now let's go back to the workflow. When you're done with this and you want to make sure that it goes live, let's go ahead and make sure to activate it in the top right hand corner. Once the automation is updated, then everything will be good to go. And if we go back here to the main page, we'll see that the status is active. So people that are abandoning the cart are going to get these emails from us. Now we also want to show you a way to create cart abandonment pop-ups. And the way to do that is to download another plugin. So let's go back to the plugins here and we're going to go to add new plugin and type in opt-in monster. Once you've done that, go ahead and click install now, and then you can go ahead and activate it too. Okay, great. Now that we've done that, go to the opt-in monster here on the left-hand side and let's go to settings. Next, we need to create an account if we don't have one already. So let's just go ahead and say we have a blog and we do not use an email marketing service and we can talk about our goals here. Let's grow our list and let's say we want to do some A-B testing as well as WP forms and maybe some Google Analytics. Once we're done with that, let's go ahead and click create a free account and then go ahead and enter your password. And then it's going to ask for your credit card information today. They're not going to charge you for anything. They just want to make sure to avoid spam. So go ahead and put that in. They will not charge you for this service. They do have a premium service, but for now, let's just go ahead and stick with the free service. So once it's active here, you should be all set to go. Now, we also wanted to show you one of our favorite hosting plans if you're looking for a new hosting service or if you're looking to switch because yours is too expensive. So we'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description. Go ahead and click on that and we can join up here together and create your hosting or web hosting account. So when you click on that link down below, it should bring you to the hosting or landing page here and you'll see that we have 24 seven customer support with them. We get a free domain and we get free website migration if you do need that. We love Hostinger and we recommend it to all our friends because they have great service. Their website is super seamless and easy to use and they have such an affordable price, one of the best in the business as you'll see here in a minute. Also note that they have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can really try this at no risk to you. So let's go ahead and just click start now and we'll review some of the plans here. So there's the premium plan, the business plan and the cloud startup plan. The premium plan starts at $2.99 per month. The business plan starts at $3.99 per month and the cloud startup plan starts at $7.99 per month. So the premium plan is going to get you a hundred websites, 25,000 visits monthly, a hundred gigs of storage and unlimited free SSL. It also has weekly backups and a free domain of $7.99 with a bunch of other options here too. Now just note the main difference between that and the business plan is more storage, more allowed traffic to your site and daily backups. Daily backups are highly recommended. They saved my website one time. So I highly recommend that you have them, but you don't have to get them with the business plan. You can just add them on to the premium plan, which you can do later in the process. In terms of the managed WordPress and hosting or AI website builder, there's some features here that are included like starter WooCommerce on the premium plan. And obviously the business plan is going to have some more options for those. In terms of security, the premium plan has standard DDoS protection and the business plan has enhanced DDoS protection. They also have a web application firewall, malware scanner, and free domain who is privacy protection, which is a value of $7.99. That makes sure that you keep all of your private information off the public domain. In terms of service and support, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee, 24 seven customer support and global data centers. So really when you're just getting started out, you're not going to need more than the premium plan. That's going to be plenty fine. So let's go ahead and choose that plan. And then we can go ahead and choose a hosting period. Okay. Now that we're here for our hosting period, you have the option to choose between one month and 48 months. We really recommend that you choose anything but that one month. So I'm just going to choose the 12 month here and you'll see that it's $2 and 99 cents per month. Let's go ahead and enter our email address for our account. Let's go ahead and enter our personal details here too. And once we've done that, you'll see that we have a 75% discount, but do not forget to add our special coupon code here. The special coupon code is my first website. And once you add that, you'll see the total drops from $35 and 88 cents all the way down to $32 and 29 cents, which is a crazy deal to get a web hosting service for a year. And once you finish with that, go ahead and enter your credit card information here and you're all set to go. Just note that there's that 30 day money back guarantee and actually Hostinger is really great about providing refunds. I've had to get a refund before for one of the websites that I created and it was super easy and seamless to do. So once you finish with that, go ahead and click submit secure payment and you'll be on your way to creating your website. So that's all we have for you today for how to set up abandoned cart emails in WordPress. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. This channel is dedicated to providing you free videos to help you start and grow your first website. And if you're looking to start your first website, but you still don't know where to get started, we actually created a free tool that we will leave linked down below in the description. Be sure to check that out if it interests you. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next video.